Hi, so welcome to another um, video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create little tiny hearts on your sh with your CND shellac. Um, you're going to need for this shellac UV colour coat in purple, purple, tutti frutti, hotski to trotsky, and we're going to be needing some violet pearl pigment. CND additives and we're going to be needing some black airbrush paint and this is the look that we're going to be creating today. I've also got a fab tool which has been recommended by Holly aka the fingernail fixer which is this Levac thumb palette which is amazing if you're doing freehand nail art with your shellac. You can place little dots of your shellac on the thumb palette and it literally just slides onto your thumb like so and it's there ready to hand. I'll just stop my nail to myself. Okay, so I've already applied two coats of cream puff to this colour pop and I've cured it for two minutes on both layers. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is to remove the lid from my violet pearl additive. And I'm going to take my fluffy square brush that came in the CND additives kit. Any soft brush you can use for this. So it doesn't have to be this brush, but this is the one that I use for this. So I'm just going to get my pigments out of the lid. And I'm going to apply it over the surface of this whole nail. So I give the nail a good coating of violet pearl. This is just going to add a little bit more shimmer and depth to this now once we've created our, our love hearts. So really work it in, take your time, really get this now covered with violet pearl. Ends up with like a greeny, greeny shadowy effect. The white sort of goes a greeny colour, greeny grey colour. But then when the light hits it, you get this violet shimmer. So I'm going to go back on. And the next thing I'm going to do is... I'll move this up a little bit. Using my thumb palette, I'm going to take a stylus. Again, from the CND Additives Kit. And I'm just going to pick up a small amount of my Tutti Frutti. And I'm going to do one dot, two dots, and then draw them down into a triangle. Again, one dot, two dots, draw it down into a triangle. One dot, two dots, down into a triangle. So you can put as many different colours on as you want. These three really complement each other I've found. And they look quite cool once we've done the black outlines on them. So then wipe our stylus off and I'm going to go back in with our purple purple. Or for Tammy specifically, purple purple. So you can see I'm just going around and creating lots of little hearts on this nail. They don't have to be perfect. If they're not perfect, it adds to the overall design. But having this thumb palette makes it so much easier. Because you're not having to go down here, pick up a bit of paint, go back. Because it's right there, you're hardly moving. So fab tool, Holly, wicked find. And then I'm just going to go in and do the same thing with Hotsy Swapsky. So we're literally just going round, placing some random little tiny hearts. Now 
and then some little dots. And then I'm going to cure that for two minutes. So here's one I've done earlier. Cure has been cured for two minutes. So now I'm going to take my airbrush paint. And again, like my additives, I get my paint from the lid. Now this is a really, really, really small detailing brush can you see the hairs really tiny it's a um, Windsor & Newton quadruple zero brush so it's really small but you need a small brush to be able to do the detailing work that we're going to do now so all I'm going to do is you could even use your thumb palette to do this so all I'm going to do is go around the edge of my cured hearts but I'm not going to go all the way I'm just picking out certain parts to relieve in a gap so it almost looks a bit cartoon like Make the heart pops out. Make sure you go around all the hearts. Just outline them all. And then we wait for a few seconds for that black acrylic paint to dry. It wasn't it won't take long because it's air dry paint, it doesn't take very long at all. Airbrush paint even. So while I'm waiting for that to dry, you'll see it, it'll sort of stop stop being as shiny. Because what we don't want to do is apply our top coat and we pull all the black over the rest of the nail. So just give it a little bit of time to dry. Okay, and then we're going to apply our top coat. So you can see it dries quite quickly. And the black acrylic paint doesn't affect doesn't affect our shellac adhesion or the shellac at all. It hasn't led to service breakdown or anything like that when I've used it doing my clients' nails. You could use blackpool shellac if you want to. The reason I use the black acrylic paint is because it gives a much deeper depth of colour. With blackpool, when you do a small, thin amount of blackpool, it comes out quite thin and 
not wishy-washy but quite pale it doesn't give us the contrast that we're looking for so nice and top coated and then that gets cured for two minutes in the cnd uv lamp and then wipe with isopropyl alcohol or disperse and you're done fun and funky quick easy now like design you could do it on one nail you could pick an accent color do all the nails either the pink the tutti frutti the purple purple or the hot squish trotsky and then do this on on an accent nail hope you enjoyed this tutorial look forward to seeing you in the next one thank you bye